Whoa, stay on your side, Alvin. Whoa, man, that is one dangerous tail. Oh, yeah, Morse's tail. That's why we came here to visit. What, to see my tail? <laughs> Tiny and I were arguing about what you use your spiky tail for. Do you mind if the kids look at your tail, Morris? Absolutely. Whoa. Look all day. So, four spikes, and they go out to the side. I guess you were right, buddy. Does your spiky tail help you cool down at all? No, the plates on my back do that. Okay, do you ever carry food on your spikes? Uh, I have never carried anything on my spikes. Awesome idea, though. Oh, go ahead. Feel them if you want to. Hmm, spiky. Very spiky. Oh, but don't worry, kids. I'd never hurt you with my spiky tail. But you might use your tail to hurt someone if you needed to, right? Well. I don't want to hurt anyone, but my tail does help me protect myself. It keeps, like, <coughs> predators away, if you know what I mean. Oh, hey, hey! I was just looking. See, I've always been afraid of Morris's spikes, but I avoid them by moving away fast, like this. I saw that, Alvin. Now you watch your tail, man. I was just showing him how fast I move. Yeah, maybe, but that tail was too close. A quick meeting, kids. These two big guys, Alvin and Morris, are natural enemies, not friends. So getting them to be nice to each other may be pretty hard. But maybe all three of us together could get him to try to get along. Yeah. Like Dad says, go Team Tyranidon. Right, right kids. Alvin, Morris, we just want you to try to get along. Not everyone's cut out to be best friends, especially with a big carnivore like Alvin. Dude, that's nature. <sighs> He's right. Morris and I will never be best friends. Not with that spiky tail of his. Hey. Guess what? You guys just actually agreed on something. <laughs> You're right, buddy. Alvin and Morris both said that they'll never be best friends, but maybe you guys can at least be, you know, friendly. Mm. We'll see. Dinosaur Once train. upon a time there was a mom. Her name was Mrs. Tyrannodon. Sitting on her nest, she heard a scratching and said, Oh boy, my eggs are hatching. One by one, her kids popped.